off Ed goes, I'll go upstairs to my room, puke everywhere, get off to the next gig. I think that's what these men think my life is like, and it's not, you know, very rarely, anyway. Uh, don't see so much of Ed since he stepped up a venue size. Um, <laughs> What I tend to do after a gig, and this is very boring, I shouldn't tell you, but most gigs, I just tend to drive home. You know, it's only a small country. I can get back in three or four hours, and I like to get home afterwards because I'm dying for the toilet. <laughs> I really floor it on the way back, 72, 73, if I have to. I don't want to edit that out in case there's any Rosas watching. <laughs> oh, OK, there we go. So. What you don't know is I've done this gig about 150 times. This is the last night. And occasionally I say a line I've never said before, like, in case there's any Rosas watching. And <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that in the room, because it won't be on the fucking DVD, I'll tell you that, so. <laughs> that one's just for you, Blackpool. You soak that one up and enjoy it. <laughs> in case there's any Rosas watching. Oh, dear, I might tweet myself after this gig. <laughs> so... <laughs> right, come on, we're nearly done. <laughs> uh, so what I do, if I'm away away, if I'm miles away from home and I'm away for a few nights, if I'm on my own, I'll just stay in a Premier Inn. I'll stay in a Premier Inn, cos you get a good night guarantee, and you can't argue with that, can you? <laughs> if you don't sleep well, they give you your money back. Now, that's financial suicide for a hotel, let's be honest. <laughs> I don't sleep well at home, I'm not sleeping well in a fucking Premier Inn. <laughs> They don't ask. You don't have to complain about the room. You can complain about anything. You still get your money. So, did you sleep well, Mr. Richardson? No, I'm afraid not. Can I ask why? Yes, the demons wouldn't stop screaming. <laughs> they count your pennies out, off you go. I'm touring for free here. <laughs> Thank you very much, Lenny. <laughs> um, so, I, I stop in a Premier Inn, you get the good night guarantee. I don't stay in the big uh, city centre ones, you know, the big uh, multi story ones, because that's where the young people stay when they've been out drinking. and. I don't get any sleep. I'm just behind the hotel door all night waiting for him to try and steal me Do Not Disturb sign. <laughs> Lurking there like a little security goblin behind the door. <laughs> Still there, four o'clock in the morning, my knees have gone now, agony. <laughs> you hear the ding of the lift and the giggling, you think they're coming. <laughs> you hear a little scratching on the door like mice. I look through the people, I go, that's mine, you little bastard. And sometimes they look back, I go, oh, shit, you can see me. <laughs> I sleep in the bath with the door locked. Um, I don't stay in them. I stay on them weird ones. You know when you're driving along like a B road in the middle of nowhere next to fields and then you get to a roundabout and there's like a burnt down little chef and a one story premiere in. <laughs> and you think, who's staying in that? I am. I'm in that. <laughs> and within an hour of the end of the gig, I'm just sat on the end of the bed in my underpants, just waiting for Family Guy to come on to get me to sleep. <laughs> But I'm just going to have a little break there, because when you come to Blackpool, you have fish and chips before you do your show, and tactically, that was a fucking error. <laughs> <laughs> I get paranoid. If I was live, I'd just carry on, but they're recording it. I think I'm going to watch this back and see how much of the show I spent going, I'm not a good premiere. <laughs> I just let one out to the side. Did you hear it? No. Right. <laughs> I'll just carry on, then. Um... <laughs> oh. I'm glad I'm not editing this. Oh, watching it, to be honest, but there you go. <laughs> Strapping. So here we go. Um, I'll get to the end of the gig, and within an hour, I'll just be in my underpants on the end of the bed waiting for Family Guy to come on or something like that. And then I have the same argument with myself every night. You know, you just wind yourself up. I get to the end of the gig, and I think, oh, bollocks, I'm too hungry to sleep. I forgot to eat before the gig because I was too nervous, and now it's late. You can't get any food in Britain, can you, after 10 o'clock? <laughs> every restaurant in Britain shuts at 10 o'clock as if no one's been ever hungry at quarter past 10. Must be that bloody EU, I think. <laughs> uh, EU red tape, I think it'd be better when we're out. <laughs> yes, indeed, when control comes back. When I get back to the good old days when there was 24-hour apple crumble stands on every corner. <laughs> Wake up with a good old hard-on for the Queen at 3 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> get yourself some spotted dick and gravy or whatever we used to eat in the good old days! Calm yourself down, John. It's coming back, it's coming back. Just relax. What are you going to do now? I think sort yourself out now. I think, right, there was that garage I drove past on the way here. I could maybe go back there and get a pot noodle. <laughs> That's probably the best part of an hour's round trip for a pot noodle there. Might be easiest to just smash my head repeatedly against the door until the darkness comes. <laughs> Not supposed to drive for an hour for a pot noodle, really, are you? They're for after the apocalypse. Keep them, keep them, keep them. 
think, right, I'm not driving for an hour for a pot noodle. And then that voice kicks in. That's you again, but just trying to piss yourself off. I think, I'm not driving for a pot noodle. The voice goes, well, you're going to have to do something or you're not going to sleep. Think, well, I'm not driving for a pot noodle. Well, I did tell you not to eat the biscuits when we checked in. Well, I fucking did do, all right. <laughs> not driving for a pot noodle and then it goes well you realize it's been an hour now if you set off when you thought of it you'd have had one by now <laughs> shut up me you don't have to leave the house to do that you can do that in the comfort of your own home sat watching telly you think oh i fancy a biscuit i'll go and get a biscuit you look in the cupboard you go there's no bloody biscuits why have we not got any biscuits we've always got bloody biscuits you sit back down but you don't accept that fact do you <laughs> you wait sometimes it's five minutes sometimes it's an hour you think no i must have missed them you go and look in exactly the same cupboard, in exactly the same place as if Schrodinger's Jaffa Cakes have come apart of nowhere. <laughs> yeah, there's still no biscuits, it's just bloody rice. Why have we got so much bloody rice in this house? Sit back down, give it another hour, you start to think perhaps I could do a quick risotto. <laughs> Microwave rice and Dairy Lee, is that a risotto? <laughs> could it be so simple? And that's when I'll start checking my phone. I'll get my phone out and I'll check my Twitter and I, I'm not going to lie to you, all the abuse that comes in, I screen grab it and I keep it in a folder on my phone uh, just in case I ever develop any self-esteem, you know. <laughs> Some days I wake up, I think, do you know what, I feel all right about myself. I have a read of that, I think, oh, no, you're awful, you're awful. <laughs> I show them to my kids when they're older. Look how much people used to hate your daddy. <laughs> what did you do to upset them, Dad? So, mostly anagrams towards the end. <laughs> <laughs> so... Oh, I, I have usually got it up ready, and that's not a sentence I've fucking used in my life. Um, <laughs> uh, there we go. So this is the sort of thing I'm looking for. Now, I'll show you that. I know you're not going to be able to read that, but I only show you it so you know it's real, right? I don't want you to think I've made this up, because some of this language is quite ripe, uh, and I would hate for you to think I've made this up to upset you. This is the sort of conversation two lads will have about me of an evening, and they copy me in in case I'm curious. So this one come in last year, it starts off, a guy called Bob, about 10 o'clock, he tweets me, he says, I've never liked John Richardson. <laughs> right, that's a good start, isn't it? Never. Because <laughs> never's not just me as a comedian, is it? Never's my whole life. <laughs> Never suggests, like, even when I was a kid, this guy was just walking up and down his corridor. <laughs> oh, there's a little prick somewhere. <laughs> there's a little Super Mario Brothers cardigan on, I bet he's down at the playground checking for stones in a sandpit so no one gets hurt at playtime. <laughs> He's got me bang on, to be fair. Um, he says, I've never liked John Richardson. Imagine the first day he saw me on telly. Poor bastard, hard day at work, sits down with his tea, puts the telly on. You are shitting me. <laughs> How many years have been telling you I hate this prick, Margaret? <laughs> All your life, Bob. All my life, Margaret! <laughs> Finally had enough last year, he tweets me, he says, I've never liked John Richardson. He's about as funny as. Right, and these are always my favourites, because then you get a funny little image, and if you've not heard it before, it makes you laugh, they'll generally say something like, he's about as funny as a shit on a bouncy castle. And <laughs> you can't help but laugh if you haven't... It's instantly picturable, isn't it? Just <laughs> everyone at the fair having a good old bounce like that. Someone clocks the turd on that front edge. <laughs> Selfishly, they think, well, I'll just bounce away from it. I'll just bounce away from it. <laughs> of course, because of the physics, it chases after him, doesn't it? <laughs> Pretty soon, they're all pinned up on that back wall. Stop bouncing, Vicar! Stop bouncing! <laughs> you can't stop bouncing, can you? You throw yourself down, you'll only bounce higher. <laughs> they're up higher, the turd's up higher. It's nothing, people, now. Just get it off me! <laughs> I'm done with that image there. If you enjoyed it, carry it on in your own leisure. <laughs> <laughs>